Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing for you a design with me which was requested by Pandora Girl. Um, she's been a fairly loyal follower. I think she's been following me for a while now and she's always commenting and I really thank you for your support and your suggestions on the video. Um, I recently redid all of my charms and I got done with my rose gold bracelet and I'm not sure I love the design that I did. And so I decided I was going to take all the charms off and start from scratch. Being as I was going to do that anyway, I decided that I would do a design with me um, because most of my bracelets are already designed. I spent all of New Year's Eve designing them. <laughs> it was pretty much what I did for a very long time. <laughs> I think it was closer to five hours that I did that. Um, it's a very painstaking process for me to design a bracelet um, for several reasons. One, I'm extremely particular about where my charms are placed and how they look. I'm trying to take some Tuhata. Um, I watch Tuhata a lot, or Tuhata, I want to say it right. Um, I watch her a lot and I really like her um, sort of eclectic style, as she puts it, um, where she doesn't have everything so nitpicky and perfect. <laughs> she has them kind of off kilter, off center sometimes. And she doesn't like it when they're too symmetrical. And I want to take a little bit from her style. And I tried it out and I wasn't quite happy with it. So I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more. We'll see how well I do without being symmetrical because it drives me a little bit nuts. So we'll see <laughs> if I can do it. Um, because I really love how her bracelets turn out. They always look so pretty. Um, and I like to, you know, get to that level. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> um, but uh, so if you haven't checked out her channel, please do because she's she's awesome. Um, she's just a sweet lady. I really like her. So, um, this char this is a, is the padlock charm in the rose gold and it's a full rose gold bracelet. And I got it for Christmas, as you may have seen in my video. And like, here's the thing. This is not an easy bracelet to design. Now I'm going to show you why. Okay. So normally, right, when you have a bracelet, you have the end clasp and you just toss a charm on and you face a charm towards yourself and you put it on the bracelet and then you go ahead and you clasp the bracelet, right? And then you, with this padlock one, you have to put it through the little padlock loop thing. Ugh. It's, it's not the easiest bracelet to use. I'm going to say these padlock ones are difficult, but it's true. Then you shut it. And now, uh-oh, if I want the face of the bracelet facing up, now my charm is upside down. So you have to think about that when you're designing with these types of bracelets. You have to design backwards. Now the other option too is that you could just take this off completely um, and design that way. But then the charms slide off of the bracelet super easy because rose gold doesn't have any twisties, any turnies, you know, the little the little core inside them. So I have to learn to design backwards like that. Anyway, so, or the other direction than I'm used to. So um, I have some charms that are unique. So the Happy Reindeer, I want to put it on my rose gold bracelet because it is rose gold. Even though it's not Christmas anymore, I still think it's adorable. And I just got it, so I want to have it on a bracelet. And But I don't like want it to be a centerpiece um, because it's just, it's not, it, to me, I have other things that are more centerpiece worthy. Um, so it's not really centerpiece worthy to me. So I feel like I'm going to put it towards the end of my bracelet, which is what I did originally. And I liked where that was. So that didn't bother me. And of course the clip is going to go on the end because I don't want my charms to fall off because that gets really annoying. In fact, I wonder if I couldn't put, oh my, you know what? I just think I had a great idea. I can put the clip ha ha ha, on the end of the bracelet. Normally clips aren't this hard, but I'm trying to do it through a camera viewer. <laughs> okay, so clip on the end of the bracelet and then I can just take this thing off, put it whatever direction I need 
and just make sure I design to this side. Ha ha! Now I can do it like I normally do, which is so much better. Okay. So we know we're going to put the happy reindeer towards the end because I like that. Okay. Then I've got my rose gold unicorn that I got for Christmas from GNOCE. I love her. She is so pretty. Um, I also have my little um, Harmonious Heart Dangle, which I love. It's one of the prettiest little dangly charms. I just, I love ball charms, ball dangles. They're just so cute. Okay, the focus is going to be weird today. Yay. Okay, then I also have the Radiant Hearts in that purpley pink color, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites. So I feel that's centerpiece worthy. Let's do a dangle on each side. Because I feel I'm being symmetrical, I know, but I gotta have dangles spaced evenly. This we're already getting off to a bad start. So let's put the three dangles because I have three dangles. We'll make this the centerpiece. This is my rose gold pink heart bracelet. I just really wish I could get you guys to see the color on this better. I wonder if you could see the color better. There. No, not really. It's really hard to see the color. Um, it's much more pink in real life, so. There you go. Um, I think that's centerpiece area of this heart. Maybe over here. Maybe I don't want it next to the harmonious heart. Maybe put it there. I don't want this really close to that. Okay, I think that that could work. Now, I love this new charm I got. Guys, this charm is gorgeous. It is so pretty. I'm in love with this charm. Why won't it focus on the stinking charm? There we go. It is just such a pretty charm. It glows, you guys. It, like, literally glows. I don't know if you've seen on Instagram those, like, mermaid from Nogu. Those mermaid crystals. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, let's focus back down here. Maybe I'll put that there. Okay, that could work. Now normally I would take a Murano and a Murano and center it with this. But because of the uniqueness of this Murano, I don't really think that these need to go next to each other. And this is that sparkly rose one. This, this, this glitter is so pretty. I got a really glittery one because I was able to pick it out. So I got one that's like glitter-tacular. <laughs> okay, so maybe over here because that blush over here kind of gives that pop of color and then that one would give that pop of color. Hmm. Rose gold crown. I think might balance well with the mousse. Let's put the galactic here. Yeah, I like that. And we could put the hmm. We'll put that here. Because I'm trying not to be too symmetrical. And I feel like the bail on this is so much smaller than the bail on these two that this is a great substitute for a small bail because this is really more of a pendant charm. As you can see, it has that teeny tiny little ring that if I put this with it, it might bulk it up a bit in between those two, which I like. And then... Do we want to move this heart in, or do we want to keep that heart there? Hmm. And then I had this charm. I wanted to toss in a piece of silver. My goal, and I don't know if any of you have heard of this. I like this charm a lot. It's very cute. I don't really have anywhere else to put it, so I just kind of threw it in with these. So maybe that should go centerish. Hmm. 
this one I'll put over here because it's a nice big spacer. Okay, we got something going here. I don't really, uh, I think I'm going to put Let's, let's try let's try this See, I'm, uh, still not that symmetrical let's try this one here and this one I feel like I don't really like these two next to each other, so maybe I'll flip-flop this over here and put this one here. See, then I feel like these two hearts are just way too close to each other. That is just too close. Let me get you a better view here. I th yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I like that one where it was, I think. It just felt better because it's a smaller heart, so it doesn't seem as obvious. And maybe I can put this heart here. It's a bit symmetrical, but it's not overly so. It's going to be a full bracelet. Okay. I think, I think that could work. Let's put it on the bracelet and see, because with the rose gold, it's so easy to take them on and off because there's no screw charms. I like that so much about the rose gold. If I could have Pandora take away all the screw charms, except for just a few, so you have something to put on the end of a bracelet when you don't have a clip available or a safety chain available, I would do it because when, you know, like when you're designing, um, bracelet and like you decide oh I don't like that one charm where it is and it's always the charm on the way outside of your bracelet although with this one that's kind of easy because you can take off either side which I kind of like um, about the rose gold so which side should well let's just try it with the which side should this heart be on how many charms we got on this side one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this side. I think it should be on. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, don't like that. I can already tell I'm not going to like that. I'm going to do this one like this. Flip around this to have the crystals go out. And then the heart, the silver one. Then this one. Then this one. I'm not going to keep saying that. Sorry. <laughs> then this one, then this one. I say it 400 times. All right. You got to make sure the little heart part is on the outside. I'm sorry. This is just really being ridiculous with its focus today. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand this. Why it's like this. That one is so hard to get through because <laughs> it is so hole filled. Okay, rose gold. And then I gotta pay special attention to which side is gonna be the outside. I can tell you already. I'm not sure how I feel about the moose. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna feel uncomfortable with the moose because. Or the moose. I keep calling it a moose. The happy reindeer. Whoa. Let's see if... 
So the happy reindeer has these crystals on one side and then they don't on the other, but when I wear it on my bracelet, it's gonna flip to the non-crystal side and that's gonna drive me nuts. I know, being a perfectionist or Now, since I started wearing these fake nails, I have to use, oh, and then he'll go that way. I don't know if I like that at all. Yeah, I definitely won't like that, so. Yep. We're gonna have to have the non-crystal sideshow because him being the wrong way will drive me even more nuts. So, we'll have to deal with that. So, let's focus. I feel like I'm like, I've never done a YouTube video before because this focus is driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Okay, so let's see how this looks. already at 16 minutes for me to do this video. It feels ridiculous. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm probably not even happy with this because I feel like this needs to go on the other side and we need to flip this around onto this side. Or maybe I even need to flip-flop these two sets. I was right the first time. The good news is... It doesn't take long to fix. <laughs> Let's try this instead. inside out. Well, flip that. Okay. Try this. Look, and we will see how this looks. Um, slippery charms. I could have paused during this part, but you're getting the full experience this time. The painstaking process of taking them on and off all the time. It drives me bonkers. Okay. And this little thing turns, which is great for when you're wearing the bracelet, but a real pain to get the glass part back on. And we are out of focus yet again. This is zooming in and out for different parts of the bracelet. It's just difficult. Okay, here we go. Now well, let's see what we think here. Oh, hmm. Mm, no. That's terrible. Nope, that does not make me happy at all. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to move this charm in between these. And then I'll be happy. I think that's what's wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what's wrong. So I'm going to do that and pause you so this video is not 400 years long. And then we'll come back and you'll see it all done up. Okay, so I've moved this in between this one. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause it again. But I moved the heart into the center with the heart and moved this one on the outside, which I like better. But I did realize, like, the dangles are off kilter. That's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to have to move this dangle here next to the hearts. So I will do that. Um, as well, um, because, I mean, it is really convenient having both of these sides 
you know, op openable. I will say when designing a bracelet, that is a major positive feature um, about these charms is that you can, or about these types of bracelets is that you can do either side, which I find very convenient um, from that aspect. The only thing I don't like, you know, truly is just having to figure out which side it's on. And then I also don't like trying to put it on your actual wrist. It's a little bit difficult. Okay. Now let's see how we feel. Now that the dangle is evenly spaced, that feels better to me. Hmm. Hmm. So I'll tell you what the real thing is, is that I like this and I'm probably gonna keep it this way. It works, it's not, I don't know if I consider it perfect yet. It works, I might go back to the old way, which I did take a picture of, um, but I do like it. I'm gonna compare the two, um, probably take a screenshot and compare the two. But what I do like is that it's symmetrical without being overly symmetrical. So you have color balance, but it's not so super perfect. Um, but the one thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be switching this, this charm out for sure. Um, I just kind of wanted something like different towards the center of the bracelet to mix it up. But the charm that I wanna replace it with is the 2019 Pandora Club Charm. I don't know if you guys have seen footage of it yet. The Art of Pandora, um, which is a blog post, they had, um, th that that individual had pictures up of the Pandora Club Charm, and it is a little treasure box with a rose gold heart, like, lock on the treasure box, and then it has, like, a diamond in that little rose gold part, and I think that is precious. I have been dying to get the Pandora moment, special my special moment um, Pandora box that had the jewelry with a little gold heart. And I have bought one and it was fake. So annoying. And um, I just can't seem to find one that's real. That's not five freaking dollar like five hundred dollars like it's a, the, the price is it's not five hundred dollars but it's outrageous what they want for them um and i just am like oh my gosh you, it's just got the tiniest piece of gold ever i should be able to get this for a reasonable price um but anyway um that's what's going to go here is that pandora treasure box because i am dying over that that is what i'm asking for for valentine's i don't know when it comes out i don't have that information but my husband usually buys me the pandora club charms if you know if you had watched some of my other videos and um that's one of the ones i really want to get um for valentine's day and that's my sort of prezi for valentine's day will be um one of those i am dying for that box that's like if they could have put out a more perfect charm, it wouldn't have been that. So I'm chatting. It's almost 25 minutes. So I'm going to leave the bracelet at this. I think it looks pretty good. And I'll test it out for a few days and see if I like it. And if I make any updates or changes or go back to the way it was, I will try to share updates. If I like it the way it is and I keep it that way, then um, I will also update you on that. So hopefully you got an idea of how painstaking my process is um, in creating charms um bracelets um it's it, it, this was probably better than most times so this is why it took me five hours to do the gigantic collection i had <laughs> so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching like subscribe comment turn on the notification bells if you want to know when i upload i'm pretty random with it so that way you'll know so have a great day Bye bye